at times when I need to stay back after school for some work or activity, my dad comes to pick me up. I really feel sad looking at his tired face after eight hours of strenuous work and two hours of extremely tiring driving. I'm sure many of you must have had a similar experience with someone or your own self. But perhaps we, the next generation, would be luckier than our parents and would be able to relax in the backseat of our cars while it drives us to places all on its own. Yes, it is possible. So allow me to unravel the world of technology, the next step of mankind, and of course, how it will better our lives. So sit back and enjoy a ride through the vistas of innovations. Technological revolutions are taking place in every sector of our lives. There's so much to speak about that this talk would perhaps never end. But I will select a few sections to give you just a glimpse of the tip of the iceberg. Google is working on a completely self-driven car called Waymo, and it has already covered one million miles in testing, and that's excluding the one billion simulated miles. These sort of cars are continuously learning from their environments, the roads they are driving on and the obstacles they face. And Google is not alone in this mission. Guess what happened when Tesla updated its cars? From the next day, the Tesla cars could literally drive people to various places, change lanes, park themselves, and even stop in case of an emergency, all without a driver. And what's more, since driverless vehicles are designed to optimize acceleration and braking, they improve fuel efficiency and reduce carbon emissions. In fact, according to a study by McKinsey, the adoption of autonomous cars could reduce the CO2 emissions by up to 300 million tons per year. So you have a car, you don't need to drive it, and you don't even pollute the environment. That's wonderful, isn't it? Let's move on from these intelligent cars to the world of artificial intelligence or AI. AI teaches robots to think intelligently instead of just following preset programs. Let's imagine you have a robot that cooks food for you. But every time you want a meal, you still need to give it detailed instructions as to what to make, how to make it, and provide it with all the ingredients. But now, how would you like this? You just come home and the robot comes to you with exactly what you wanted to have without requiring any instructions whatsoever. Just what your mom used to do when you came back from school, right? That is the aim of AI, to teach robots to think and work like a human. So the robot understands what you would like to have on a particular day, depending on your mood and health, thinks about how to cook it, and arranges for the materials required. Believe it or not, the IBM Watson robot can manage everything from cooking to finance to Facebook. Other breakthroughs of AI include face and speech recognition systems like Apple's Siri. The power of robots and the speed and accuracy they work with is increasing day by day. Remember all those times when you poked yourself while threading a needle or got stressed out because you didn't know how to pack your friend's birthday gift? Well. Fear no more, for companies like Switzerland's ABB, Denmark's Universal Robots, and Boston's Rethink Robotics are developing a completely new generation of robots that can do much more than thread needles and pack gifts. Even soft robots are being developed for more sensitive jobs. The first of its kind, the Octobot, is made out of only silicon and various gases and liquids. It is soft and squishy, needs no wires or batteries, and is powered by liquid fuel only. Robots can also communicate and share knowledge with each other using online databases like RoboBrain. Some time ago, using this platform, a type of research robot called PR2 had been taught how to perform certain tasks. Hundreds of miles away in Brown University, a different type of robot called Baxter performed the same tasks just at a different setting, using what PR2 had learned. Robots are also becoming good at games and puzzles. For instance, the Infineon Sub-1 Reloaded solved the Rubik's Cube in 0.637 seconds, roughly six times faster than the human record. And Google's AlphaGo defeated the world champion in the game of Go, a game which is exponentially more complex than chess. Another amazing thing is the world of virtual reality or VR. Have you ever wanted to go somewhere but couldn't because of some reason? Well, with virtual reality, you can experience the place, 
without actually going there. Just wear a VR headset and save yourself the money, time, and energy of having to travel for miles. VR basically shows you a 360-degree live video of the place you want to go to. Many companies like Samsung, Google, Sony, and Apple are working on creating such headsets and softwares. VR could have many applications like taking students on educational trips to entirely different continents or allowing geographers to visit the places they are studying about. Doctors can also make use of VR by manipulating operations or diagnosing diseases without actually being near the patient. The military is also making use of VR by simulating war situations, making training a lot safer. And there's more. Have you heard of the term Internet of Things? I bet most of you have several times not wanted to get up from the sofa to switch on the light, walk all the way to the door to open it, or have failed miserably in using the force to get the TV remote. But you won't have to worry about those sorts of things in a few years, because everything will be connected. You will be able to control your TV remote, the door, the light bulbs, and all, from one device only. If you just have your phone with you, you can use it to literally control the entire place, be it your house or office. Apple's home app is already doing it, and it is predicted that by 2020, 50 billion devices worldwide will be connected in this manner. Revolutionary activities are taking place in the space industry as well. Whether it is time, money, or labor, the study of space requires huge amounts of it. But with the new space technologies, this will hopefully become history. Rockets will no more be typically destroyed on their maiden voyage. But now, they will be able to make an upright landing and be refueled for another trip, setting the stage for a new era in spaceflight. Elon Musk's SpaceX just demonstrated this yesterday. This could save billions of dollars each year. So the rocket heads up to space leaves the space capsule and heads back to Earth again. Then it lands back upright and is refueled. It is also loaded with another space capsule so that it could be reused. Apart from the resource consumption, access to space is also extremely limited. Only about 600 people have ever been in space. Amongst those, only 12 have walked on the moon. Can you believe it? 7 billion people paying the money and only 12 get to walk on the moon? I think that's a bit unfair, isn't it? So Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin is trying to make things more equal by sending human tourists to space and landing them back safely in its space capsule called the New Shepherd. In this way, tourists will be able to experience the breathtaking views of space and also land back safely. So the children here in a few years might say, why not go to Mars this summer holiday? Back on Earth, technology is also making it possible to store renewable energy and even make mini power grids, enough to provide entire villages with electricity. A good example would be fluidic energy's zinc air batteries. Using new technologies, it will be possible to generate even more renewable power, like perovskite solar cells. This type of solar cell has three advantages over traditional ones. It is easier to make, can be used virtually anywhere, and generates more power efficiently. A real-life example can be seen in the plane called the Solar Impulse 2. This plane flew on solar power only, and no other type of fuel. It flew for almost five days, covering more than 7,000 kilometers. This type of technology, if implemented properly, could save unimaginable amounts of fossil fuel and also significantly reduce the global carbon dioxide emissions. This will also eventually help reduce the travel costs, notably for the common people. Other technologies are also being developed to reduce the reliance on fossil fuels, like being for power. Researchers at the University of Bath have developed an innovative miniature fuel cell that can generate electricity from urine, creating an affordable, renewable, and carbon-neutral way of generating power. With just one liter of urine, this device could generate up to six hours of charge. Researchers say that in the near future, 
this device could provide a means of generating much needed electricity for the remote areas at very little costs, with each device costing just one to two pounds. This is definitely a brilliant way to dispose bio-waste and generate electricity from it at the same time. So the next time you are out of charge and you don't have your charger with you, you know exactly what to do. <laughs> Biology is another sector where technology is leaving a big mark. Perhaps many of us here have loved ones who have been affected by cancer, the disease that takes away the lives of more than 1% of the world's population every year. Let it continue at this rate and there won't be any humans on Earth by the 22nd century. But here comes technology to the rescue. A new technique of genome editing has resulted in genetically engineered immune cells that are saving the lives of many cancer patients. Technology is also warning people about other health risks, like the DNA App Store. It is an online database for information about your genes, which would make it cheap and easy to learn more about your health risks. With just one sample of your saliva, the developers of this app could analyze some DNA information and give it to a machine to process it. Then, using this DNA information, the app will be able to tell you more about your current as well as future health risks, how to take care of your health, and much more. It's just one sample for a lifetime of health consultation. Biological technology is even trying to make humans immortal. Scientists are developing technology using which, after a person's physical death, their brain data can be uploaded to the cloud and later be downloaded into a specially designed robot which would then receive the memory, personality, and other data about the person, allowing the person to live forever in the body of the robot. The environment is another sector where technology is leaving a big mark. The, and I don't think that the environment feels quite happy to have hundreds of thousands of bullets every year from military training in the US alone. So to make sure that the environment doesn't start retaliating, US Army engineers and researchers have developed special biodegradable bullets which would be much more eco-friendly. This would be because plants will start germinating from them once they have been in the ground for some months. In all that I have mentioned today, if there is even one thing that has wowed you or is linked to one of those wild dreams that you once had, then let us join hands and do our little bit in this age of revolution. No, you don't even have to be an expert programmer or a technocrat to help. You can really make a difference by just following the websites of these sorts of innovations and providing them with feedback on how they can make it more useful for the common public like us. Trust me, they need your help. So let's try and contribute to the miraculous work all those tireless souls out there are doing to change life on Earth and perhaps beyond it. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening.